Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Scott, and today we are painting an Ard Boy from the Iron Jaws Army in Warhammer Age of Sigmar. And we're painting this model up in the colors that you see on the box for these models. So let's go ahead and dive into this tutorial. To get this model ready for painting, I've primed it using Ultra Matte Black Paint Plus Primer from rust -Oleum. However, that's just what I had on hand. This project is going to have a lot of bright colors. You might consider using a white or gray primer instead. We're going to start this project off by painting the skin. We're going to start by base coating all of the skin on the model using Death World Forest. Once we're happy with that base coat, we're going to take Athonian Camo Shade and do a heavy wash of this over all of the skin. Once that shade is dried, we're going to take Death World Forest again, and we're going to use this to clean up the smooth surfaces of the skin and anywhere that the shade pooled that we didn't want it to. Next, we're going to take Auric Flesh, and we're going to layer this over the muscles on the model. We're not painting all the way up to the recesses, we're trying to blend this so it's brighter towards the center of each muscle. With that layer in place, we're now going to take Ogryn Cam, and we're going to use this to highlight the sharpest details of the face. We're also going to paint any muscles that are getting hit by the light, which we're assuming is directly above the model. Now it's time to begin working on the armor. We're going to start with Averlin Sunset. We're going to use this as the base color for most of the armor. However, we are going to leave some armor panels to be painted in iron and black later on. Once we're happy with that base color, we're going to take Cassandor Yellow and do a heavy wash of this over all the yellow armor. After we've allowed that shade to dry, we're going to take a one-to-one -one mixture of Averlin Sunset and Uriel Yellow, and we're going to layer this over the flat surfaces of the armor, but we're making sure that we don't paint all the way up to the edges or in any of the recesses. Next, we're going to take Uriel Yellow by itself, and we're going to use this to edge highlight the sharpest ridges on the armor. Now that we're done with the yellow armor, we're going to take Lead Belcher, we're going to use this as the base color for the chainmail, the weapon, and a handful of other armor panels on the model. Once we're happy with that Lead Belcher base coat, we're going to take Nuln Oil and we're going to do a wash of this over all of the metal on the model. After that Nuln Oil has dried, we're going to take Stormhost Silver and we're going to use this to edge highlight the metal parts on the model. It's time to work on the black pieces of armor. We're going to use Abaddon Black as the base color for the remaining armor panels on the model. We're also going to base coat the pants using this color. Our next step is to take Dark Reaper and we're going to use this to do the first edge highlight on the black armor panels. We're not as worried about this edge highlight being perfect because we are going to do another color over it. Our second layer of highlighting will be done using Thunderhawk Blue and this time we are trying to be as thin and as clean as we can with our highlights. With the armor all done, it's time to start doing the detail work on the model. We're going to start by base coating all the leather and wood on the model using Rhinox Hide. We're now going to shade the brown parts on the model using Agrax Earthshade. After that shade is dried, we're going to take Mornfang Brown and we're going to edge highlight the leather and wood on the model. Now 
At this point, we're going to paint the teeth and the eyes on the model. We're going to use more gas bone as the base color. Just be careful when you're doing the eyes to not get this on any of the area around the eyes. Next, we're going to quickly shade the teeth using Seraphim Sepia, and you can go as heavy as you'd like with this wash. It'll just darken the teeth down more. While that shade is drying, we're going to quickly take Kara Bird Crimson, and we're just going to put a dot of this in each of the eyes. Just be careful not to let too much leak into the area around the eyes. Our final step in this project is to take Ushabti Bone, and we're going to use this to highlight the tips of the teeth. And with that, we've finished painting our Iron Jaws Ardboy. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to like it and then subscribe to my channel so you can see future videos I make. I'd like to give a special shout out to my channel members that make videos like this possible. If you would like to become a channel member, hit the join button below this video. As always, have an amazing day and we'll catch you in the next one.